hi guys welcome back to my channel so today we're gonna do something a little bit different um you know, as you can see i'm hiding one of my eye you know because i've already done the look on that eye so yeah if you want to see how i create this look on this eye you already know what to do keep on watching <laughs> So here, so this is the look I'm gonna create today. It's like a green look. Well, it's not like, it's like a green look. So it's green and then I go ahead and put a little bit of yellow in here. So we're just gonna go ahead and just, you know, create the same look that we create over here, over here. And the palette I'm gonna use today is from Cara Beauty. And this is Before the Party. I get all these palettes at Marshalls or TJ Maxx. And they're so inexpensive, so inexpensive. And they're so good, like so good. Like look at this look. So yeah, let's, you know, let's apply. Well, first let me put my little eyeshadow guard because I do want that sharp, like right here. So we want to put the guard on. I can never get the guards to go exactly the same way. So we'll see today. I don't know my eye shapes are so different like it just makes everything like weird okay and today I'm actually using my P. Louise base so I'm using eye prep eye primer and then this shade is shade one not P. Louise Juvia's place and I'm using a crown brush I got this in a brush set from boxycharm and we're just gonna stem this I'm dragging I'm just stamping it if you want your shadows to just pop and just like your looks to be sick like you have to use a base because I feel like and I'm not saying you have to use this specific base those are the ones that work really well for me the pillow is base the um, Juvia's place primer and the Yolanda beauty primer or Yolanda makeup by Yolanda like those are the three that like works really really well for me um some people use concealer concealer doesn't like it don't work very well for me but that doesn't mean it's wrong again like sometimes people take like makeup so serious i'm like it's not that serious if it works for you use it like it doesn't matter but and again you don't have to have these palettes it, although these palettes are so inexpensive like so inexpensive I think I paid six dollars for it and yeah you just play with your shadows and create amazing bomb looks like this is like my happy place like I love makeup like again I've never claimed to be like a makeup artist but I'm obsessed with makeup I'm just stamping this uh, if I'm having a bad day, like today, I am. Um, I had to go to the doctor to just get some. That's my yearly. See, I can talk to you guys, you know. My annual checkup and had to do some blood work, and that nurse like pissed me off. Injections is not my thing. I'm, I'm like scared of them, and that's okay. Some people are, some people aren't and yeah she had to poke me twice to get that vein and i was not having it but it's all done so now I'm, i come here and this you know makes me feel better and this is a um g38 but you can use any kind of like concealer brush that's what i usually like to apply this with and then i'm just stamping this all in there to just get like that shape that I want okay so now that we've done priming the lid let's go ahead and jump into that palette so I'm using like three shades of green and a yellow I know I know it's a lot so I'm using this shade right here called daiquiri and then cactus much and then flower girl and then jalapeno so first I'm gonna go in with my 
this is a small tip a blending brush it's a 231 from Luxie and we're gonna go into daiquiri and I'm gonna put that in my order V and I'm just stamping this like this so I can get the most pigmentation and these shadows like the blending like you don't have to put like a lot of effort in the blending which is what I love and like, look at this blend like this is just like so good like it's I'm stamping it and when I get to the edge I'm like stamp and drag a little bit so I'm like so what I'm doing here so see I stamp and I drag stamp drag and I'm only doing this at the edge just to just to diffuse it a little bit I know this looks crazy right now but it's okay so good I'm just giving it a little tail. Oh, I have the other eye. I'm obsessed with bright colors, but you know what though? Like this look, you could do with like browns and like, you know, like I could have used like these shades, like you know, like right here. But those are not the shades like that makes me happy. Like I, I like bright shadows. It just is. It just is, and you know, again, there's like tons of makeup channels on YouTube. And if you don't like my bold looks, that's okay. I know it's not gonna be everybody's cup of tea, it's all good. When I get to the edge, I just kind of do my drag. So now I'm gonna go into this brush. This is actually from. It's that mint collection from Juvia's Place. Just a blending brush. And we're gonna go into Cactus Much. And same thing, guys. I'm just gonna stamp it. Like stamp it to the edge. And we're diffusing pretty much the daiquiri. But I'm stamping it. I don't want it to be like super harsh and don't you know get all like oh my god this just looks like a big old blob it's fine trust the process it's gonna all work out itself okay so now I'm gonna go into another brush and this one is the 227 from Zoeva and it's just a definer brush and then now I'm gonna go into flower girl and I'm gonna do the same thing let's see because oh. We're gonna blend this edge again. Same thing. See, I'm gonna stem this. I'm gonna bring this down a little bit here. I'm not gonna come too low with it because we don't want to, you know. Ooh! I just stem this in that in cactus much. That's not what we want because I want. Flower girl, that's what we're doing. Flower girl, and we're stamping flower girl. Flower girl is a little bit dusty. Five, ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty-five shades. Yeah, twenty-five shades for six dollars. It's fine. I'll take a little bit of dust. Now I'm gonna go back into cactus much, and this looks like. I know they are processed because you have to, you know, kind of reapply and reapply to just because you want to keep it nice and tight. Now I'm going to go back into this brush and then back to Daiquiri. Now back to Cactus Much. And again, we're just gonna go back to the edges of Daiquiri and make sure this is blending nicely. And then back to Flower Girl and then just. And guys, don't ever be scared to just go back in, you know, and blend and blend and blend and make it, you know. And soften it up. 
okay now we're gonna go into this brush right here this is a zero one from Refa, and i'm gonna go into jalapeno which is this shade right here and i'm gonna put that in my eye like right here that shade is also dusty but it's fine it is all good and we're just gonna bring it in here okay so this one went a little bit too much so i'm gonna just take this okay now i'm gonna take my roller beauty roller beauty benefit roller lash and put some mascara on to my you know non-existent lashes and i'm gonna use this right here this is from she glam is just basically so this one has this on this edge i never use this because i just feel like they suck but it, this is like a jumbo pencil this is really good and i think this was only like five bucks so if you only use that part of it it's fine i'm using my bad and bougie lashes from makeup shark do this for now and then i'm gonna use my dual lash glue and this one is clear if you can put your lash if you can put your glue on there like this i feel like it's the best way to put your lashes but you do have to be careful that it doesn't go in your eye just kind of you know let it dry a little bit okay i'm just gonna leave it like this let it dry out and then we will come back to it because ain't nobody have time for that i mean i do but i don't want to waste my time on doing this when well, we could be doing all the things okay so now that face is clean let's go ahead and let me prime real quick let's use my hangover rx from Too Faced. let me use my brush from my l11 from laura lee los angeles you know what i haven't used my hourglass vanish in a second so let's use that make sure you always shake your foundation well, if it says to shake it, I know this one does. I don't know, this, this foundation, like when I bought it, it was like the perfect shade for me. And now I feel like it's a little bit orange. I'm going to put a little bit of corrector from Jeffree Star. And I'm going to use this other, another brush again from that same crown set. Oh, this is good for this. I feel like this is the just the like right portion because I always go crazy like put a ton of it I'm gonna use my Kevin Aquan concealer this is thick and this is on a BH cosmetic number six brush but I kind of want to go thick and light because I feel like my foundation is a little bit dark and that's what I do guys, like when my foundation is really dark, I go a little bit lighter with my concealer, just to kind of balance it out. No. No. Let's go ahead and use my foundation stick from Clinique, which is the stubby in the nude foundation stick. I don't ever use this for foundation. Cause this is super dark so now i'm gonna take a e34 brush from morphe and we're gonna just blend this down but this just like disappears that's why i like using this spe these specific foundation sticks because they just work so well and i'm gonna take my e20 brush from morphe we're gonna use that to blend out the concealer 
now I'm gonna go into my be flower beauty or flower powder from beauty bakery oh that was a mouthful and I'm putting that on my complexion brush from Moda and don't drag this guys just stamp it in Cause you don't want it to take away you know your coverage I'm going a little bit heavy under my eye and I'm gonna leave that there because you know remember we had some fallout now I'm gonna take my powder brush from Luxie which is a 734 and I'm thirsty into my Sephora powder number 30 micro smooth powder and we're just gonna set the rest of the face okay this is done for now let's try this this is a 213 an m213 from morphe let's try this with some concealer or well, primer not concealer primer Okay, now I'm gonna take this Morphe M124 and we're gonna go back to the palette. And I'm gonna do Daiquiri. Pretty much, I'm just gonna use these greens. The same ones that I use, and we're just gonna, you know, stem that. So, first, we're gonna go with Daiquiri. Now we gotta dust that off before I even start blending this because if not we're gonna have a green mess. Let's use this brush from Luna Magic and we're gonna go into Cactus Smudge. Let's try this. This is what? A T9 from Makeup Shack and then we're gonna go into Flower Girl which is that last green. Dusting blending this off nicely I'm gonna put this this is poolside from Morphe I'm gonna put that in my water yeah I think I'm just gonna bring down that yellow which is jalapeno I'm just gonna bring this dun 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 with the eye and I'm thirsty Sorry guys, you know, keep drinking my water, but I'm, I'm really, really thirsty. I feel like I'm dehydrated. I have to figure out some way to like, because <clears throat> my peloton and stuff is like in my garage. And I need to figure out a way to like keep really cool in the garage because I'll be dying in there. Like, dying. It's so hot. But we will see. I have a fan there, but I just don't know how to like not have it blow on me directly because I don't like that either. So I'm just a little bit picky with that. So I need to figure that out. Um, I'm using my Yol makeup by Yolando bronzer palette, and I use these two shades here. Can you see me? No, these two shades. More of this than this, because this is really dark. But I, I, I take a little bit of here. Take my powder. Okay, let me use Peachy from Beauty Bay. And I'm going to put this on my Sigma Dual Fiber F50 brush. For highlighter, I'm gonna use my dual finish highlighter from, and this one is the number, is three radiant golds, rose gold from ABH. No, nope. I lie, Lancome. Why did I say ABH? Wow. Okay, this. Come down. You going heavy today? So I'm gonna go ahead and use chestnut from Laurent Mercier to line my lip 
We're almost done, guys. Almost done. I know. I, I, I felt like I was lining my lip for like a minute. Perfect. And I'm going to use Sugar Rush from... I think this is like... Sugar Rush Sugar Coat. I think this is from Too Faced. I think. Okay, let me dust up that powder and uh, maybe some of that highlighter. Okay, so that's it guys for this video. Like, I had so much fun doing this video. Again, like these eyeshadow palettes are like crazy inexpensive. If you can get your hands on it, get them. Like, they're so inexpensive and they're so good. And don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel and guess what? I will see you in my next video. Bye guys.